Hello and welcome to this knitting podcast. Uh, my name is Anna and I live here in Sweden, in Örebro. I have this podcast where I talk about all the fiber, textile fiber crafts that I do. Uh, so it's mostly knitting and sewing and spinning and weaving. And some needle binding and maybe sometimes some embroidery, <laughs> but not that often. So welcome to this uh, episode. So uh, it's um, spring here in Örebro. I would say it's spring. It's cold and sometimes snowy, but it's, uh, yeah, it's spring. The daylight and the sun is making a huge impact on me, I think, because, and on Robin as well. He is a very weather person, you know. He uh, he really likes it. When it's, when it's sunny outside, he's sunny, you know, so it's very nice. So I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm a bit rusty, I think. So I, I thought that it, we might take this first episode of just getting back into the swing of things. Um, and uh, I'm going to talk about some things that I'm knitting on right now. So not everything that I've made since the last time, because that's impossible to remember. Um, so yeah, I'm drinking some coffee in my cup, one of my favorite cups. This is a local... Um, what do you say? Ceramics artist? She does ceramics. <laughs> um, but she's local here to Örebro and I bought these cups. I actually ordered them. I had them specially made because I wanted this kind of shape and this size because it's slar it's it's a bit larger than a coffee cup, but a bit smaller than a teacup, you know, in the in between. And then I wanted this la I think it's lava. Um clay I don't really I had like a picture I had a few pictures from her Instagram account and I said like I want you to <laughs> can you please make something in between these um, this side this clay blah 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 this color so I got these and I bought two of them and they are amazing and I love them so I, I've been knitting a lot actually I have been finishing things um, a few things that are a secret so I can't talk about them here I actually uh, organized my yarn chest uh, this Saturday I think it was <clears throat> yeah because I was feeling a bit uninspired to because I as I said I have been finishing a lot of things and when I finish things it feels nice you know <laughs> but it's also it's also nice to know what you're working on so it's you know, it's, it starts a new wheel. You have to start a new process and you have to start a new design or, you know, uh, it's a whole new thing. And that feels not daunting, but, you know, it feels sometimes you just want to have, sometimes you just want to know what you're knitting on. And I didn't know that. So, and I didn't have that much inspiration for anything I didn't have that much in mind but I I have like these things that I want to design sometime but I just have to figure it out or I just have to come up with a nice idea to go with that design so you know sometimes it takes a bit of brain work <laughs> and some time to actually get a design going because I, I don't want to just design things to 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 design you know <laughs> I, I I want to make things that I think I want to make things that I need in my wardrobe so uh, that took a while and then I thought maybe it's nice to o organize some uh, some yarns because maybe then I find some yarn that I want to make something of or it feels nice because I, I like things organized um, you might not <laughs> think that by looking at my background, but it's actually, I, I like it cluttered, cluttered, but not uh, messy. So this is my style of decorating. So uh, then I, uh, I organized my yarn drawer uh, or my yarn chest and I found some yarns and I, you know, I, I organized them in different bags. So I have like two ply wool and I have like one strand. Uh, for the tweed and platelupi and uh, latlupi and everything and then I had I have a, w a small one for leftover mohair uh, and stuff like that you know I have different kinds of things there now 
so I know what I, I got. Uh, I didn't get rid of anything, I think. Maybe just one skein or something um, that I'm gonna give to someone that wants it. Um, so I did some organizing and that feels very nice to have everything, you know, sorted and everything. Uh, and then I got working on some swatches and I did some swatches for a few different ideas. And now I have a project that I'm actually loving. Uh, but yeah, so and when I was organizing this yarn drawer, I also found some old projects that I haven't worked in for a while. And uh, a few of them is still there. <laughs> I don't want to rip them out, um, but I'm not particularly um, excited to work on them right now. So I'm letting them stew for a bit. Uh, but I actually found this project that I started a few years ago. So this is um, this is a blanket, <laughs> and it's a really long blanket, um, but not that wide, as you see. So this is the um, Mittered Corner Blanket from Pearl Soho. So it's a free pattern uh, on Pearl Soho, which is very nice, and it's very easy. And I, I thought that I'm never... I've never been a kind of person that knits blankets because it's not my kind of thing. Uh, Robin knits blankets because he likes to knit like stockinette stitch or garter stitch, just huge things <laughs> in that. So it suits him very well, but it doesn't suit me. But this is very nice actually because you knit one square at a time. And I, I just noticed that this square is the different way. So yeah, okay, maybe that's how it's supposed to be, I don't know. So um, you make one of these, it's easier to see here, yeah. So you make one of these uh, squares at a time. Uh, so I started this as a leftover yarn project. Um, and of course I knew that I <laughs> would have to buy more yarn. But what's nice with this one is that I can use uh, different dye vats on every like square it doesn't matter <clears throat> now doesn't I don't have to have the the right right or the first dye bath um, so I'm just knitting this in uh, let loopy and I'm really loving the uh, the design and knitting this up and I really love the structure of it so yeah I'm I bought some new yarn today so I have for this part and then I have started the third panel here and it's going <laughs> it's going to be 16 panels if I'm following the the pattern and I'm thinking I might actually follow the pattern and make, make 16 <clears throat> 16 panels because that would be glorious to have a blanket in let be that big so yeah and I'm making the the largest uh, square size they are two different so yeah I'm very happy about this and I thought that this might be a very nice project to have lying around for when I'm feeling you know creatively blocked or something just to have something to knit on uh, and doesn't I don't have to start anything up to be able to knit sometimes sometimes I feel like that actually so this is perfect for now and I'm thinking that maybe when it gotten like real big I will make single panels and sew them together maybe I don't know it's very nice being able to attach them um, right away so you don't have to do anything um, so yeah we'll see yeah but it's really nice to, to work on and one of these I actually timed myself <laughs> uh, because I wanted to to know how many hours I would work on this and one square takes me like 30 to 40 minutes so if, if I'm counting 40 minutes it takes what was it like 50 hours no a hundred and no sorry I have to do the math again I totally forgot so that's 7680 minutes which if I do the, okay so it's it's 128 hours so it's not that bad actually it's kind of a lot but you know for a, <laughs> a the, the grand sc 
scheme of things or the grand scheme do you say that in the grand scheme of things it's not that long um, yeah so the next thing that I'm working on is something that I have been wanting to do since the, the autumn and our wedding because I made one of these for our wedding and that was a stick at my leave <clears throat> which is like a knit knit sleeved bodice or something um, and I made that one in a very bright yellow and a dark grey and I wanted to make something more <clears throat> spring like or something um, and I wanted to make one for more spring time and like early autumn and I wanted to make something with this color because it's my favorite uh, it's the golden uh, I don't remember the number for this but it's uh, Rauma Finul and it's um, like 41 it's the um, you know it's color it's dyed on gray wool so and just the a neutral very light beige to you so I'm making a sticker in my leave and I made the cuff and I'm making a, making it a bit bigger uh, so it um, because the one I have now is really tight and it's, it's nice but I wanted to make something else for this one so and also I'm making my I have my letter A here <laughs> on the on the sleeve which I think was a nice detail um, and I have a Latvian braid here and this is the pattern for it I'm very excited and I love working in Rauma Finul on this I'm working on three millimeter needles for the color work to have it like really dense and um, you know the <clears throat> the jacket that, that I have now is almost windproof um, I can you know I can go on my bicycle and it doesn't I don't get cold in it so it's very nice um, and I think in the body is similar to the first one so like a double breasted um, close closening, we say opening, uh, and uh, in black, I think. So, yeah, I'm very excited. And this pattern I found on like a di digital museum page, I think. Um, and then it's just a rib, two colored rib. Um, Latvian braid as I said and I made a chart in um, stitch fiddle so I can so I could you know get the the letter all nice and centered and everything <laughs> so and I'm increasing every fifth or sixth row yeah so very happy about this I think it's gonna be really nice as a sticker in my leave uh, and it's nice to have two to you know switch between because I'm wearing my, my uh, the current one I'm wearing as a spring jacket so it, it's actually kind of perfect for a spring jacket okay so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna show you a finished object now and this is my rotad cardigan um, oh, it's so hard to show this color on screen I don't know in the camera it's a bit more bright than it's in, in real life um, I really love this color though I really wanted I craved a red cardigan because I think that a red cardigan is a is a very useful thing uh, and it's a very happy color um, and I bought this yarn when my brother had his dissertation party <laughs> um, last January and it's just been laying there in my yarn shelf and I you know yeah, I love it. <clears throat> so this is a DK version of my Rota cardigan. Uh, and my Rota cardigan is knitted in fin ull on 2.5 and 3 millimeter needles. And this is knit in 3.5 and 4 millimeter needles. <laughs> so it's just the same, you know, design and everything. I just recalculated and made um, a larger gauge. Uh, so it's a bit more It's a bit faster to knit and it's also knitting the round and steaked um, and I did my steak with um, 
um, I felted my stick, which was really nice. Um, it feels like I'm gonna do that like every time now because I really love it. So yeah, this is my rotad. Uh, I had I actually bought some buttons today, some wood buttons that I'm gonna <clears throat> sew on tonight, so I can wear this soon. But yeah, so and it's of course cropped as well. So <clears throat> I'm I started to work on something today with a yarn that I was that was kind of gifted to me from uh, Gotland's Spinneri, just as you know. They're very kind, <laughs> and I uh, I met them on Forfestichil, where I attended, uh, and uh, I worked at Forfestichil, and I just you know, on my breaks I just wandered around and talked to people, and it was really nice. And thank you if you came up there and talked to me um, and said that you follow my podcast or something. It really it was really nice to talk to you, uh, and I got some amazing yarn from them. So I got this. So I have this amazing color, which is the jade, the dark jade. Uh, do you say that? Jade. I don't know. Uh, but this is uh, the yarn Leilu, which is the thinner one. So it's uh, it's really beautiful. And I also got this dark gray and also the natural white, which is amazing. So I'm starting something in this which is really fun and I love to knit with their yarns it's it's amazing um, it just fills out so beautifully uh, and it's such it's like a light from within the yarn it's really you know it's like pearly <laughs> can't describe it any better way it's really really pretty um, and of course the natural grey is also very, very nice. So I'm starting a colour work um, slipover, no slipover, sorry, a colour work uh, sweater <laughs> in the round uh, and like a round joke with a colour work on it. So I'm very happy about that and I have been swatching, I'm not going to show you the swatch, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, maybe I will share some secrets on my Instagram. Uh, the coming weeks. I just want to show you as well the, the yarn that I actually bought myself. So um, I really love their yarns. Uh, I knitted my Valkyria cardigan in this this yarn that I'm holding here uh, in the dark grey or it's like the, it's a medium grey yeah uh, and they have these beautiful colors which I couldn't resist. <laughs> I just I was there like five minutes before the uh, the festival opened the the second day I think or was it maybe the third the third day actually um, yeah and I was there and just like I'm I'm I gotta go to work right now but can you please put those aside for me so I can come and get them on my break and then I ran there <laughs> and and got them so uh, it's this green beautiful yarn. Uh, it's Sork from there, uh, from Gotland Spinneri. It's really hard with this color. Maybe it's better to show it from here. Yeah, this is. I think this is the best representation you can get <laughs> in a camera. Um, but yeah, so this is really nice. And I got four skeins. Yeah, four skeins. So I have enough for a sweater or a cardigan or something which is really nice. It feels like a forest, you know. It's beautiful. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going away. <laughs> so, okay. Um, I have some, that was the yarn acquisitions and I have some spinning that I wanted to update you on. I also got some spinning fiber from the Forfest de Chille, uh, from Uddebo, is it called that? Uddebo? I'm not sure. I will write it on the screen here. And they had a whole world with just uh, neutral colors. So I got three different, four different actually, but I gave one of them to my grandma. Uh, and then I got one that was dyed and it was this one. So you might not be surprised that I got a rust color, but I haven't actually 
Sorry, I'm just gonna... Yeah, <clears throat> I haven't found any um, any wool fiber that were dyed this color, this rust color that I love. So I just had to get it when I saw it. I just got one of those. I don't know why. But maybe I will place an order or something. But I have this and then I thought that it might go nicely with these two. Because these are <clears throat> new to the yarns. Uh, or knitted in fibers, Hanrok um, Air um, have these colors. So this is some some of the the skeins that I have spun up, and um, yeah, I'm really into this neutral together with rust right now, uh, and also the greens. So <laughs> I'm thinking that I'm I think that I'm really finding my color palette right now. So it's like the neutrals and orange and also the the blue green tones, you know. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Like the forest green also, but also the the, the green with a, a little blue in it. So yeah. It's just beautiful. <laughs> and I'm loving that I, I got so confident with me with um choosing colours for myself because I thought that it was quite difficult before uh, but now it's you know I know what I suit in um, and I know what complements my hair and eyes and and things so uh, it doesn't feel that daunting anymore um, and I know which gray suits me and it's actually I think it's actually this darker gray um, like the steel cold gray I don't know, maybe I just like this one. Um, I'm thinking also that I'm <clears throat> that I should have more of this. This is a natural black, uh, so it's like a gray, gray brown color. Maybe this is my color, actually. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not supposed to have. I don't think that I'm supposed to have like the do uh, the lighter grays because it washes me out. So I'm thinking that I might go, I should go for the darker greys <laughs> and not the light greys. Um, yeah, the light greys, these are for Robin more than for me. Yeah. <clears throat> it would be fun to do it. It's, it's a, lot to, a lot of talk about the, the, this color season analysis right now, I think, and it's, it's so f much fun. Uh, but it's also hard to know your own season because I can, you know, I have seen on, on some websites you can, you know, look at some celebrities that have these kind of colors and then they are this season. So if you are that color, you are this season, you know, if you are similar to their color, um, their coloring. But I know, I don't know, it feels kind of weird. Sometimes I feel like a spring color person, but then I don't suit I don't suit those colors um, in my opinion you know so yeah I don't know it's weird because I have blue eyes and I don't have that much contrast in my in my face and hair but I'm very pale and I get I blushes easily so that I think that that means that you are a warm you know um, you suit in gold rather than silver, so a warm toned person. And then I have freckles in the summertime, or all year, but you know, they get more intense in the summertime. Um, but yeah, so I'm very... and then I have like these red tones in my hair. I'm not a redhead, but you know, it's more red than brown, or you know, yeah. So I'm... I don't know. So hard. If you know this, please tell me which season I'm in. Not that it 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 isn't gonna change what I like or anything, but it's nice to know, you know. Yeah. So that is everything that I have to talk about today. Thank you for all the messages about um, you being happy that I'm back, and I'm very happy to be back, and it feels a, a bit more relaxed now, which is nice. Uh, and I'm yeah, I'm just gonna 
come on here and talk about knitting and making and stuff. So it feels, it feels really nice. Uh, maybe sometimes I have like a, a topic that I want to discuss or something. Um, I'm actually reading the book Women's Work to the 2000 first years by Elizabeth Whalen Barber. So I'm loving that book right now and I'm thinking about making a book review about that one maybe in the future so it takes a bit of time to read those because you know you have to get into the the whole thing yeah so it's not like a, a fantasy book that you fly through um, but it's very interesting and i find it fascinating um, and very important to read if you are in this line of work so maybe i'll do a review about that one if you want me to do that please leave a comment down below i'm hoping that you had a, a nice time with me today um, and thank you for being here and please consider subscribing to the channel if you like what I do here um, It really helps me in a lot of ways um, If I see people subscribing to this channel, so thank you and I will see you next time Have a good day